I haven't built something that isn't a house because I'm scared it's gonna turn out bad. So this video is a baby step. I'm gonna build a bookstore for the first time. Also, um, I did fake headless. Do you like it? <laughs> I can't afford real headless, okay? I'm not that rich. I'm not that cool. The hair looks like really weird. What is that circle? This is the bookstore that I'm gonna be recreating. The only thing that kind of bugs me about this photo is that there's stairs over to the right here and they lead all the way up. Cause then anybody can get up here and mess with these uh things. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're called. Also, these just look like two basic shapes. I like the little trees here. I like the shape of the build. It looks really cool. When you're trying to do like a, a build that isn't a house, I feel like it's so important to try and capture the vibe of the place or like the environment. I'm just gonna try and place the walls. Over here, it's a little weird. Like the door is in this spot and it's kind of goofy. I should have realized that this door is gonna be kind of hard to replicate in Bloxburg. We don't want it to be too large. I mean, it's just a bookstore. There's nobody living there. You know, we just need a ton of books. I think this is gonna be our shape. The double doors don't fit. Oh wait, actually, this is kind of not bad. It's a commercial door. Between these two doors, I think this one's better. I think this one takes the cake. Oh, it's actually kind of a moody story now that I think of it. I might change the colors here. I don't know if I want it to look like this. Maybe it'll look a little bit better once we add windows. I'm gonna add a floor around the building. Hopefully this is gonna look good. And then over here, we have like a little garden area. I do wanna replicate that. I think for this part of the floor, I'm gonna use the symmetrical bricks with seashell. I like resizing each tree to be a little bit different. Oh, that's cute. I knew that would be worth it. Since they look super bright, that's how I'm gonna recolor them. I'm gonna make it vary a little bit. We're obviously gonna use a flat roof. I feel like I've gotta extend it a little bit like this and maybe also raise it up. I don't know if I want such a moody color scheme. I'm still like feeling in between about that. Why does the fence look like that? Why you gotta look like that? Do we have a taller one? Oh, yes, this, this, this plain half fence. Let's experiment with the color scheme. What do we want? It would be cute to make like a pinkish sort of bookstore. Maybe we can try that. Let's see. Wait, what if we use brick? Brick is giving me like a bookstore vibe. I usually don't make my builds look like this, but I'm liking how it's turning out. I'm also thinking I'll make these half fences be brick. Should I add pillars? Do the pillars break away from the realism? Ew, what's going on up here? Uh, I'll make this concrete. I kind of want to improve the environment. Maybe if I add a bench. Ah, yes. Now that looks realistic. <laughs> Wait, what if I add like paneling? This is not a style that I'm used to. I mean, I would like to build in this sort of style a little bit more often, but I'm getting really mixed feelings about this. Like, does it even look good? Maybe if I recolor the windows to be brighter. Like I've never been one to build like bookstores or coffee shops. And it's like highly requested from you guys. Like you guys are always asking me to build like a coffee shop, but I don't know how. I have never built these types of things. I know it's not good. I know. <laughs> Even when I played Sims, I never did builds like this. I sort of want to put a roof over this little bench. I can see a little design here, some potential. But you go inside the bookstore and then you come out here and you sit and read. That's a nice vibe. Yes, yes, we got a street light. Whoa, wait, maybe that street light is a little too big. I want this, this, this is exactly what I'm looking for. An outdoor lamp. I don't even know where to put it. Actually, this is not bad. This is not bad. I don't know if I'm being overly confident. I guess we're gonna move on inside. I'm gonna add some molding at the top. Ooh, and then we, maybe we can do something with the wall trim. I really like trying different styles. I think it's fun. I'm not exactly sure what kind of style this is. I'm still experimenting with it, but I am going for kind of realistic and bright. Maybe our cashier is gonna be like here. If I manage to squeeze in a fence, I think we can make it work. Yeah, maybe if I put this fence and then I add a fence gate like on top of it, like this, maybe that'll work. I just gotta move the lamp. Yeah, like I, I feel like that could work. Ooh, that looks kind of fancy. I guess we'll add the stylish chair. I'm gonna get this cash register because I haven't bought one before, so I'll just place it here. I feel like we gotta fill up the space now. We gotta add like bookcases and everything. Gotta make sure this looks like a proper bookstore. I mean, so far so good. I know that the colors are pretty similar, but I can't be bothered to recolor them all. I created this book pile. It's meant to be decorative, but it kind of is making me anxious. I feel like it's gonna fall. I feel like putting a couch here would be good. Maybe a couch and then a coffee table, but no coffee goes on it because you're in a bookstore. You don't bring drinks in here. I haven't used any of these new items, so I do want to try them out. Ooh, that looks good. I just got to recolor it. These couches are really, really nice. Oh, this is also a new coffee table. I don't know if I like it. I think I'm going to go for the contemporary one instead. I'm layering these lights on top of each other because I feel like it's just not bright enough around the place. I need this armchair right here. Oh, I wonder where I could put paintings. I mean, there's potential here for a painting, but you can barely see it because it's covered by the plant. For sure, you can have paintings here. I almost feel like putting a memo board there as well. You know, I feel like it would be smart to add like a lot of papers. Like, I don't know, maybe it's like people's documentation or something. I'll grab some more pieces of paper. 
and like kind of layer them here. I guess the shopkeeper is a little bit messy. So the shopkeeper is having a hectic day and they spilled their coffee all over these papers. I definitely have to give them a pen cup though. I think it would be most convenient like here. Shouldn't they have like a, a computer? I want to just get them a laptop. I can't imagine them not having a laptop right here. I kind of like this. This is definitely different for me, but I'm liking how it's turning out. I'll add these books and I'll put them at the bottom of this coffee table. Maybe I should also use a structural to write bookstore. I haven't done this before. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I feel like it doesn't look good. <laughs> when is Bloxburg going to give us the option to put signs and then we type whatever we want on the signs? It was really hard to write it out. I don't know if I should leave it though. So it's a new day and I came back to update a few things. I got some new ideas. I was thinking that we could add these square pillars on the corner of the build. I just feel like it helps make the place look a little bit more put together. We could use some outdoor chairs and create a few more sitting areas out here. I think it's nice to create this so people can just like read books together. Kind of makes it look a little bit like a restaurant. I think we could add a slanted roof right above these seating areas. Should I add some more pillars like right here? So since we removed the sign, I was thinking maybe we could put a structural right here and we could write bookstore. Can I resize it to be a little taller? That's something. Maybe that's a little too tall though. I'm gonna add some books on these tables. Oh, we got some fancy stuff here. We got Lux. This is actually really nice because we get to use some of the new books. Oh, Bloxburg fashion designers. Modern blocks. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put these books here. I feel like that's cool. Oh, we can recolor them as well. That's fun. I really like that we can recolor them. Outside of some stores, they have a stand like this where they write when they're open or what the store is. So I'm kind of thinking of replicating that with this painting stand. Some bookstores also put books right outside. So that's what I'm going to do here. I was thinking that this could be like a little bit of a park. Like you have some trees behind the bookstore. Maybe if I combine this picket fence with a hedge, it could look nicer. Wait, should I add these stepping stones like this? I think it looks pretty good so far. This part is a little awkward. Another thing I saw in bookstores is that they have a ladder leaning against the bookcases. Should I add like a scooter or something? Some sort of vehicle? I'm gonna put a bicycle like here. Oh yeah, and then maybe the last thing is we could put a planter box. I think that's sort of it. I'm just gonna update this decal so it says open and that's gonna be our bookstore. My bookstore costs 82,000, which isn't bad considering that we have all these books. They must add up. I honestly think I did a pretty good job for a person who doesn't really make buildings that aren't houses. So we have a sitting area over here. This is really random. We have a little bicycle here. You can obviously sit and read and then we have some more sitting areas over here I actually put books on these ones I think sitting outside is kind of nicer than sitting inside when it comes to reading a book unless it's raining then it's an issue can I actually pick up this book <gasps> wait why can't I pick up the book okay whatever and we have some books outside I guess these are like showcase books it says come on in we're open we have this book decor that gives everyone anxiety because it looks like they might fall over we have the cash register over here the only person allowed to bring coffee is a shop owner and they spilled it everywhere <laughs> as a shop owner you sit here and do your work but then people could sit right behind you if i were the shop owner i would close these curtains it actually won't like let me close these curtains what and we've got this beautiful couch i absolutely love these new sofas we obviously have all of these abundance of books which i was too lazy to recolor i'm happy i came back to update the environment because this definitely looks so much better that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications i don't know how to pronounce that love you guys so much bye